former elite Australian swimmer Jade Edmiston seemed to have it all. She won three World Championship gold medals and broke five breaststroke records. But her highs went to dramatic lows after she stopped competing eight years ago. She attempted suicide. So it wasn't a couple of years until after I retired that um, yeah, things started to unravel a little bit. Um, loss of identity, you know, how, who, who was I? Where was I going to go now? What was I doing? I got to that end point where it was, it was, that was it. I'd made the decision to, to do it. And um, luckily my friends turned up. Yeah, it w I wouldn't be here. Definitely. Sorry. Other elite athletes have also struggled with the transition. In February, champion swimmer Grant Hackett said he was seeking help for mental health issues after his high-profile arrest. Australia's peak swimming body is trying to deal with potential mental health issues through a range of support and psychology programs. Its main focus is preparing the next generation of elite athletes for life out of the pool. 21-year-old Olympian Jacob Hansford is already working on his backup plan. The freestyle swimmer trains 12 times a week. But when he's out of the water, he's studying for a degree in sports management. Having the two really takes my mind off swimming and, you know, it is building towards my future after as well. Chances are I'll be swimming till I'm about 30, but what am I going to do for the next 40 years after that? It's definitely important for athletes to have this dual career so that uh, they can really focus on their sport and then they can get away from their sport. And that really psychologically helps them to, to have a break from the intensity and the day-to-day -day grind of being an elite athlete. Back in Brisbane, Jade now works in a state swimming body. She says she's managing her depression, has written a book and is determined to ensure swimming's impact on her life helps others plan for a life out of the water. Yara Bamoham, Al Jazeera, Brisbane.